Let's take a look at number 30 from 11.1. .1. This one has quite a few um, different qualifications in it, so we want to make sure we read it carefully and understand exactly what's going on here. So what they're asking is how many four-digit odd numbers are there? And I suppose I should have a question mark. <laughs> Assume the digit on the left is not a zero. Okay, so we've got four digits. We know that. So we need our four blanks, and we're multiplying. Okay, so we've got that part taken care of. Um, let's see, it has to be an odd number. Now for it to be an odd number, I think you might rush out and think, well, all of the numbers have to be odd, but that's not the case. An odd number, only the last number has to be odd, okay? Because you could have, let's say we had, just for argument's sake, the number 52 over here. There's an odd number here in 52, that 5 is odd, but 52 is not odd. Because the last number is even, that number is even. So we want to make sure for this to be an odd number that the last digit is odd. So if the last digit's going to be odd, how many choices do we have? Well, it could be... 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So how many choices is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five choices. So that takes care of it being an odd number. Um, also, we need to assume the digit on the left is not 0. So the digit on the left can't be zero. So what could it be? It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, <laughs> eight, or nine. So we have nine choices here for the first digit. Um, now for these other two, those could be anything at all. It doesn't matter whether it's even or odd. They're not giving us anything specific to look at. So we have 10 choices here and 10 choices here. Okay? And so now we plug it into our calculator. Our calculator, turn it on, and we want 9 times 10 times 10 times 5. And that gives us 4,500. And so that tells us that there are 4,500 odd four-digit numbers where that first digit isn't a zero. Okay, so I'm going to go over that one more time to make sure. The first thing they asked was that it was an odd number. For a number to be odd, the last digit has to be odd. So that gave us the choices 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So that was one, two, three, four, five choices. We filled in the blank with a five. They say the first digit cannot be zero, so our choices are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And that means we have nine choices for the first. There's no restriction on these two in the middle. No restriction. So we could have any of the ten digits for either of those. So we filled in this blank with a 9, these two with 10s, this one with a 5, multiply them all together, 4,500 choices.